Maritime means to me the riding of the waves. It means to me the salt and the sea and the fresh water. Two different liquids, yet the same. We use water every single day in order to survive. Plants, animals, they all live under the sea, but they also need water to survive. And so the function of the maritime industry, the function of the ocean, the water, the sea, anything related to the communication between the land and sea is needed for our existence. The land and sea are essentially one. 70% of the wa world is water, but doesn't mean that 70% of the world is water that we can drink. You know, the water that's available to us is not just something we can use to drink. There's salt water, and salt water, we use it for salt mining, we use it to explore new things, we use it to measure buoyancy, we use it for testing. Pretty much everything that we need is in the water, and so we'll go grab medications, essentially, from fish under the water. We'll eat fish, we'll catch them, we'll damage biospheres, we'll damage ecosystems, because the ocean has a delicate balance that's similar to the one on Earth. And so the identity of the maritime to me is that it's a part of the land. It's as important as the land. If we don't understand the maritime industry, then we won't ever get a chance to understand the part of life that is essential to us. Just ordering something as off of Amazon or any sort of shipping and handling businesses, it crosses so, through so many waterways and oceans. In waterways, there is windmill, there is hydropower, there is windmills on land. Both of them create electricity, but hydropower, hydroelectric, the water creates so much electricity and power, it's really powerful. Some even say it's more powerful than windmills, like land and air. And so all the things that the ocean offer us, offers us and water offers us is so tremendous that it's something that we need to recognize. And if we don't recognize it, we won't receive the full benefit. And so riding the waves at the beach is one thing. Learning how to swim is another thing. Being able to captain a ship and get from one place to another is another thing. But at the end of the day, the best thing for us is to understand every single thing that the ocean holds. Because the ocean is not just the plants and animals that are under it. It's the buoyancy of it. It's the amount of salt that keeps us afloat. It's the thing that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really absorbent. We get carbon emissions, fossil fuels, and that might be it. Our oceans are in relationship to the air, the wind pressure. If we want to control, or essentially if we want to improve our lives, we have to look to how we're treating the ocean. Because life is a cycle, just like the water is a cycle. It's all connected, and so the land is something that a lot of people understand. We all grow up on land, unless you're a mermaid. We all grow up on land. And part of land is water. And part of water is survival. And survival is living. And so water, ocean, survival, it means it's something that comes together to make the human being, the human being, to make life, life. Thank you, and that's what maritime means to me.